The famous economist Milton Friedman once said, inflation is taxation without legislation. Currency debasement is an odorless gas. It fills the room slowly, and by the time you notice, the damage is done. To better understand the benefits of gold, we will hear from economist and investor Keith Weiner and millionaire investor, entrepreneur, and author Robert Kiyosaki. A question I'm often asked is, how do you know the real value of the dollar? And the reason why I like gold and silver is it's giving me the relative purchasing price of the dollar upon a commodity, which is in this case gold or silver or oil, that the whole world deems as valuable. So for you to understand the real value of the dollar, you know, check the spot price of gold or the spot price of oil or silver on a regular basis and you'll see the fluctuation. The real important question about this question of what the value of the dollar is, while our politicians say to you, you know, we want to make sure you have jobs and all that stuff, what they're not telling you is this, is for the U.S. economy or the economy of Japan or Europe or any place in the world to survive, it is better to have a weak dollar. So what that means to you, if the dollar is weak, that means our exports are cheaper, so the U.S. will export more. But what that means to you as the human being or the person living in the U.S. is by the government's policy of weakening your dollar, it means the cost of living for you goes up. So a weak dollar is good for the economy, but it's bad for you because it makes everything more expensive. What's the value of the dollar? You'll never know unless you find a stable comparison every day. So that's why when I get up in the morning, you know, I quickly check the price of the dollar against the price of oil, gold, and silver. And in that way, I kind of get an idea, a rough idea of what kind of games my government's playing. If you're going to invest and you know the federal government, the U.S. government is going to weaken the dollar, that probably makes gold and silver more valuable. So there's some things about gold that are that are unique. Carl Menger, the Austrian school, defines it as the most marketable commodity. That marketability refers to if you trade in and out of that commodity, you incur a certain loss. And that loss is the measure of its bid-ask spread. You think about money as, as a lubricant, it's an indirect medium of exchange, you want it to be the thing that you don't lose a lot to get paid in money and then you turn around and pay for the next thing that you want in money. You also want something whose marginal utility is not diminishing. Marginal utility refers to the value of the nth plus one unit and how do you compare that to the value of the nth unit. And so every commodity has a diminishing marginal utility that the next unit is worth less than the previous and, and so on. Well, think about money for a minute. This is the thing that we use as the unit of account in measuring our, you know, our business businesses and everybody measures their net worth. If you're using some diminishing unit to measure your net worth, you have the problem that you can't really tell if you're getting richer or if the quantity of this thing is increasing. The thing about gold is that it's been mined more or less continuously as far as we know for 5,000 years. All the gold mined in human history with very little loss is still in somebody's hands somewhere in the world today. Which means is we just keep accumulating it. There's no yes. such thing as a glut in gold. There's no such thing as a shortage. And that what that means is the marginal utility of gold is not diminishing. After 5,000 years of accumulating it, the utility or the marginal value of the next unit of gold hasn't yet fallen below the marginal cost of mining it. So there's some things about gold that are unique. That stability is a very important thing when you think about both as a means of payment and also as a means of a long-term unit in a, in a long-term contract, whether it's rental contract, lease agreement on real estate, whether it's an employment contract, whether it's debt you borrow. That stability is a very, very important thing. Over thousands of years, gold developed that. Nothing else, you know, really comes close to it. How do you hedge against an ever depreciating fiat dollar? Own the opposite, sound money. Sound money is built with assets that have scarcity, a long track record of trust and value, and cannot be printed by central banks. For additional resources and how to protect your wealth, see the links in the video description from some of the best gold IRA and precious metals investment companies that we have personally researched and vetted. Thank you for watching.